Alright guys, time for part 5 of the vlog. As you can see, not in the garage today. Uh, we're around at Neil's uh, place uh, doing some work on his cart. Um, good news is, what you're going to see about now is how he's started it first time as well. Who can believe it? Well, I, yeah, you know, good people at hand, good people at hand. So, here, are, let's have a look at starting, have a listen to what they actually sound like running. How's that? That's good. Can you get in there? Yeah. When you're ready, I'm ready. Is it, is it in gear? No. Ready? Okay. Yeah. That's it, started first time and it ran well, uh, a few problems that we've uh, got to look at just on the cart, so just a, a couple of fuel leaks, uh, minor tweaks on um, the, uh, the gear selection, uh, but nothing, nothing major at all, it was uh, very much a case of uh, it started first time and, and ran pretty much as, as well as could be expected. Um, so that's what we've been doing today actually, that's why we're not here, obviously I'm not racing uh, next week because we're coming towards the end of March. The um, the first race is uh, 1st of April, so I'm not racing in that one, uh, Neil is, so it's been all hands on deck um, to get him prepped and so as you can see now there's going to be, there was uh, several people working on the cart there, some of the people I've, uh, I've mentioned before, so we've got uh, Neil obviously and John and uh, Tom who's one of the uh, fellow 210 racers. So we, uh, we've all been mucking in today to try and get him, um, get him ready to go uh, next week and we are pretty much there so it's been um, it's been a really really good day so far as I say a couple of things left to do uh, you might be able to see some yellow bits of tape that's uh, that's uh, Neil's system for um, for marking up what he needs to do and uh, little bits to finish off but absolutely fantastic and you know um, a real example of the series for how everyone um, you know bands together, chips in and make sure competitors can, uh, you know, can, can get to the grid. So uh, really worth doing. So now I'm here and I've got Neil Hancock with me. Um, say hello Neil. Hi. <laughs> so this is his car and uh, we're just going to go through a bit about it. So this, uh, a little bit of detail. So why don't you take us through it Neil. Uh, start off, what chassis is it, what modifications have you done and, and how the whole thing, how the whole thing works. Right, so basically it's a 2001 yeah. um, Anderson AK. Yeah. Um, it's been totally rebuilt by John Morrish over, yeah. the, um, over the winter two yeah. weeks ago or just over two weeks ago. It was a bare <laughs> chassis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So a lot of work, obviously John's put into it, and uh, yeah, the last two or three days have been a bit hectic in, in pulling it all together. But as you've seen, it's yeah. it's now running and it's manageable. Two or three hours and it'll be ready to go. Excellent, excellent. So what what special features have you got in the cart then? So you know what what parts would you would you not like to see or or bits that you found that have uh, or. or suit your style would you say okay so obviously modified the pedal slightly to okay. bring them slightly further back mm -hmm. i use heel stops to get me a, a, a good yeah. grounding in the seat yeah i use a specific quite short tank so i can get my legs up and and over them and okay. so i've got reasonable control yeah um, 
What else? Um, we've got quick release detachable side rails, so we've got quick access to the engine should we need to. Yeah. So literally, that's it, it's out of the way. Oh, brilliant, that's good, isn't it? Um, yeah, same with the chain guard. Chain yeah. guard pulls off uh, fairly quickly. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah, and I think it's important to say, isn't it, these, these quick release features that you've added, uh, are crucial as part of the whole maintaining the car on the race day. They come with experience. So you learn <laughs> what, what you need access to. Uh, yeah, so I can get right up to it now, yeah. rather than a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and it's and, and and that's part of that's part of the race day, isn't it? So you, you're always going to have to be, you know, you can't just expect to. Um, you know the cart's going to be absolutely full, so yeah. I mean, it might be, but I mean yeah. you've got to expect the odd bit of tinkering, two, haven't you? Two-stroke engine, yeah, um, and constantly tweaking the tune-in to get the best out of it. So yeah. you're constantly fiddling with them. Absolutely, absolutely. But it's, I mean, would you say that you know in, we've talked about this, and I've talked about this in my previous in my previous videos, but the level of which the the, the, the tweaking. Um, it's not massively in depth. It's something no, that anyone can pick it's up, isn't really it? Really simple to do. Once you've once you've got the hang of what you need to do, it's jetting up and down, right. tire pressures, adjusting yep. the chain. Right. Quite okay. simple things, really. Excellent. Excellent. Good to know. Okay. I know I said about um, all the maintenance and the uh, skills required to set up and drive these carts, but I believe there's an alternative option, isn't there, Neil? Absolutely. I mean, for me. To start with, I was very much hands off, and yeah. it was really an, arri an arrive and drive mm -hmm. scenario uh, with John supporting me actually. Mm -hmm. um, and that option is is still there, so there are opportunities for people just literally to pay for turn up, and somebody will manage the cart for you. So the car, Excellent. engine, everything will be sorted for you. Yeah, um, that's an option for people who haven't got the skill set, obviously, yeah. to do that from the outset. Brilliant, brilliant. And how would they um, how would they get in touch with uh, with or, or through you guys or anything like that? Would it be through the Two Cent Challenge website? Yeah, absolutely. That's brilliant. the way to do it. Excellent. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Uh, we're going to cut the blog for today. Um, as you see, um, we've we've. we've working the car, you've heard it start, um, you've got a bit more about what's going on, but that's really important to know that if you haven't got that um, technical mindset or you know what, you just you just want to go, um, then the opportunity is here. One thing I will say that I didn't mention actually was that I passed my uh, arcs yesterday. Um, thank you very much Neil. <laughs> so I passed my arcs yesterday, um, it was only a written test for myself because I've done my ARDS test which is the actual car driving one, but um, yeah very well taken care of at Three Sisters Circuit, so good to see they're still going. So I'll have to finish off with uh, voice only, I'm afraid, guys, uh, just for now, because unfortunately the um, the camera battery died and we missed the last few seconds of the recording. So, yeah, uh, after passing my arcs, uh, big success, uh, and again, yeah, Three Sisters, absolutely fantastically uh, well looked after. Um, but. You know, you don't even need an arcs to get a taster for it. Um, you know, you can you can come down on a Saturday. Um, you know, as the arrive and drive is still there, you can you can pay, you can have a go in a practice session. You'll be well taken care of. It's how I started, in fact, um, and you know, get a real taste um, for what it's all about. Feel the car, and that's going to give you a real introduction into how. How, how you'll know if the series is for you but I would excuse me I would certainly urge you to um, to come along and um, you know especially if you if you think this might be for you then please uh, get in contact uh, with the uh, website uh, with the people at the website um, which is 210challenge.co.uk um, and they will put you in the right direction and you know we can we can get you in a cart and and get you sorted the one thing i will i will definitely say uh, it's worth noting is that this isn't just for, uh, for 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 men this is for ladies as well um there are lady competitors within the series and they do extremely well so you know th this is open to all types of people as long as you're over 16 years of age then you know you can take part in this series and you can get involved in racing um, but for now, um, any anything you want me to cover, any questions you have, please leave in the comments. I, I, I always keep an eye out and um, I'll make sure I respond. But um, next week is the big one. We'll be at Risington and it will be time for the first race of the season. So expect lots of footage, uh, interviews and um, 
details on, on how the race is, what the race goes and, and what's involved. And it should be, should be a really, really good fun episode next week. A lot, lot of new content coming. All right, thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you then.